today's video, we will be revamping my bunk bed and turn it into a loft-inspired mini art studio, if that makes any sense. Anyway, since this is a budget makeover, it's really nothing fancy, just something easy that you can do in your space without breaking your pockets. So, let's get started! Right after entering my room, you'd automatically see this big pile of mess which I never attempted to fix. This is actually my bunk bed and it came with the room when I rented this place. I prefer sleeping on the floor than on this bunk bed so I never really use this for sleeping. As you can see, it became my dumping area where I store most of the things I don't use every day, like my luggage, boxes from home appliances, a bunch of paper stock, and boxes I use to pack the orders I ship. First things first, in all makeover stories, cleaning up always comes first. This is the time to figure out the things to keep and to throw. This way, we can maximize the space we're working on. I've also freed the area from cobwebs and dust using my trusty broom. And of course, I had to wipe clean all my walls to give it a quick facelift. Because my walls are really filled with brown and yellow stains, which I think is caused by paint discoloration over time, and since I'm only renting this place, I decided to just stick up a nice wallpaper on it. Can I just say that I really love the look on this wallpaper? I love that it doesn't look cheap even when I only got this for a price of 100 pesos for 10 meters. I mean, it's just insane. I chose this tropical vibe print to give the space a fresh look without looking cluttered. Here I'm starting to put up the wallpapers and I'm working with one strip at a time because I still had to cut out some wallpaper to match the print and make it look like a continuous wallpaper print all throughout. You'll see what I mean when I finish. Right now, it's already 5.41 in the evening and I just finished putting up all the wallpapers. I am so happy with how the wallpaper ended up looking like. It's really, really nice. I love it. It looks very refreshing to the eyes and I am very excited to fill this area with all my stuff so that I could get organized. Next is creating storage solutions for the space. Since this is a budget makeover, we don't want to spend on furniture and stuff we can't easily bring with us when we move out. So I decided to spray paint my existing shoe rack which I no longer use. Here I am using Bosni paint which I got from Shopee. This is commonly available in hardware stores but since it's quarantine, I think it's convenient to just buy online. I chose Vespa White as the color because I wanted to lighten up the shoe rack instead of keeping its black color. I thought of spray painting the legs but I chose to just wrap it with paper instead. I printed a wood pattern in the size of the legs using scratch papers from my college thesis and basically wrap it around each leg. I figured I wanted to create a boho inspired storage rack like in Pinterest and this is the cheapest solution. Next is to organize your paint and coloring supplies. I like organizing all my alcohol markers in a gradient manner. I love to see them displayed because they give any dull space a quick splash of color. For my paint tubes, I decided to use this metal grid I already have and some curtain clips that I got online. And then I simply hung them up on the wall. Not only does it look nice as a decor piece, but it also makes it easier to see the color labels. Hey, 
I have here a few organization ideas I want to share that's of course cheap and easy to follow. First is you can use storage bins and baskets. I like to group my stuff according to its type or use. For example, all my paint pots and tubes go together in one basket and same goes for my tools. Another tip is to label the baskets so it'll be easier to remember where to get them and also where to put them back in. Next is have a mini trash bin. Here I have a small basket that's deep enough to hold all my dry trash like pencil sharpenings and paper cuttings. That way, it'll be easier to clean up after working. Third and last is to organize pencils according to type. If you love drawing portraits or just simply owns a lot of pencils, it's best to organize your pencils according to their type and use. For example, I like to keep all my charcoal and graphite pencils stacked next to each other so when I start working on charcoal portraits, I know which holder to pull. First DIY is this super cute Greek head brush holder. If you guys want to make one for yourself, I have a short tutorial on this which I will link down below. Second DIY is this super aesthetic neon sign which is super sexy and cheap. Again, everything will be linked in the description box so make sure to check it out. And that is it for today's makeover. I hope you guys had fun. If you guys want a mini tour to my mini art studio, please let me know in the comment box. And if you enjoy creative videos like this, make sure to click the subscribe button to see more of